So here we are at Blast Furnace 5. The final checks have been made. The plans that we put together with our contract partners have been signed off by the UK management team and the executive committee. So now it's all systems go for the blowdown of the Blast Furnace and the Salamander Tap that will start the life extension project. We're going to go in now to find out exactly what's going to be happening as part of that blowdown and see where the Salamander Tap is going to take place just behind us now. So here we are, right by the shell of the furnace. This is lower than the level of the tap holes, which are above us, as is the cast house. And this is where we'll be doing the salamander tap, drilling into the very bottom of the furnace to release all of the iron that couldn't be taken out through the tap holes. You can see behind me the structure they've welded onto the furnace, which is called the chapel. They'll be removing a section of the shell here and starting to drill through the refractories to within about four inches of the molten iron inside, where it is about 500 degrees C. They'll push some clay back into that until they're ready to finally lance through that final layer and release the iron. When they do that oxygen lancing through that layer, the molten iron will come out into these runners you can see beside me here, specially constructed for the salamander tap. The iron will flow down the runners into the troughs and then out of the troughs into the pig beds where the iron will finally be set before being reused in the steel plants. Let's go and take a look at that now. So you can see the pig beds behind me here. These are being constructed out of many hundreds of tons of boss plant slag. They're constructed in a way that the iron can run into the pits and then overflow into subsequent pits. The team are expecting about 650 tonnes of molten iron to flow down into these pig beds, where I said they'll be cooled and then recovered into the steel plant. We're only a few metres from the shell of the furnace, and this is where the iron will finally be cast. It is literally a matter of hours now, before all the hard work the team's been putting in place, all the designs that have been made, are put into action and put into use as the liquid iron comes out of the furnace, the salamander is tapped, into the beds behind us and then work on the furnace can start in earnest.